All right, into a team. So this is Gary Thomas. Uh, you know, and first of all, I just want to thank everybody for uh, all their support on this issue. I wanted to give you a rundown on class ta class tracking and uh, QuickBooks payroll and really how it relates uh, to all of our uh, businesses. And so um, when you think of uh, Intuit, uh, we are the basically the client uh, that is pulling the wings off a 747. We're the ones uh, that are maximizing um, every piece of technology uh, that you can throw at us. And so how is payroll done? Uh, well, it, it's done uh, through several ways. So first of all, um, all of our payroll through Intuit um, is initiated through the Square point of sale system. So when we hire a new employee, these are all of our employees, um, we're able to enter them into Square and Square maps each employee to the appropriate cost center, to the appropriate business that we have. Um, from there, uh, Square, which is our point, point of sale system, maps the employee to our um, our HR management system or our time tracking reporting system. That system is where all of our employees clock in for all of the specific locations and it's allowing us to manage location, uh, excuse me, it's allowing us to manage our uh, labor on an hourly, weekly, monthly basis, um, however we want to manage it. What um, Homebase does is it ports um, all of our uh, payroll information uh, to QuickBooks Online. So we're not physically entering any data whatsoever into QuickBooks. What QuickBooks is doing is it's simply, uh, what, what Homebase is doing is it's simply porting the number, the information to QuickBooks uh, full service payroll so we don't have to do anything. Um, and these are all of their payroll partners, uh, but of course we love Intuit. Um, once everything is said and done, um, that information is then ported to our QuickBooks Online account through QuickBooks Payroll, and the reporting that we're looking for is this guy right here. So we're going to go back to the report list, and our managers and some of our team members are bonused on the profitability of the store. So when I look at my profit and loss statement here, for example, what I'm looking for is on a single line item, um, what is uh, my payroll? And so um, you can see here, um, we're a smoothie juice and concessions bar. You can see these are all of the lines that are coming in from Square. So Square POS system is porting all of the data to QuickBooks Online. Um, and then these are all of our expenses. And when you go down here, um, this is the payroll information that we need to be mapped effectively. So um, this, uh, you know, here's tips. Tips um, are mapped from Square uh, to home base to all the team members into QuickBooks full service payroll. And then we have all of our wages. But in order to bonus our managers, what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to pull up uh, the class for that particular location. So we're gonna go here. And uh, if you look at all the locations, we have seven different um, cost centers, store, physical locations. Um, we'll go ahead and run it. And what I can do here when it runs this report, and we'll run it here, see what it does. And it did nothing. Uh, let's try that one more time. Class all. Uh, yeah, we'll select all. And then we'll run the report. And so now when I break this down, um, not only can I look at payroll um, as an organization, uh, but I can look at payroll. It's actually not pulling it here. Let me so let's pull that out here and we'll go, let's go back to the report list and we'll try to run it this way. I usually run it. Uh, we will go to uh, balance sheet, profit and loss, uh, management reports. Uh, I'm going to go custom report, uh, tracking by class. This is what I want. And so when I pull this up, so those are all of my different businesses. And so when you uh, run your profit and loss statement, all of our wages are right here in one line. And what QuickBooks full service payroll is doing is the classification is mapping all of the payroll, all of the vacation time, all of the tax line, all of the tips, everything into one line. One of the solution was to create a different expense for each one of those. 
But what I don't want to have happen is to have us grow this report um, so it's bigger. In this case, um, everything is beautiful. It's seamless. Um, I can look at the report and chew out um, whatever manager needs chewing because they can't manage their numbers. So um, that's it in a nutshell. Um, so we have three systems that are all working in conjunction. The only physical work that we have to do out of all of this is call every pay period to have our employees added, which is stupid. And, and you guys know that. We know that because this is automated. Time tracking is automated. Point of sale system is automated. Employee permissions are automated. Everything is automated except for this one little class tracking glitch where we used, should be able to go in here. We'll go into payroll settings. We'll go into um, account preferences. And this is one thing that they, they bleed us through um, is when we go here, they, you know, they're like, oh, you should see a drop down here for client and it's, it, it doesn't exist. So anyway, if there's a simpler, more efficient, effective and productive way that can save me $10,000 a year and save you the headache of me calling you and pastoring you, I'm all for it. Uh, but until then, uh, this is our business in a nutshell. Thank you.